Let's write a C program to find smallest element in an array. So let's take an example. We have an array variable a of 5 with, with 5 numbers. We take another variable called small and assign the first element of this array to variable small which is present at a of 0. Now we take a for loop and iterate through this array variables and start comparing the value of small with all the other uh, elements present inside this array starting from a of 1. Whenever we encounter a value which is smaller than the value present inside the variable small then we transfer that value onto the variable small. By the end of traversing of this array variable the variable small will have smallest element of that array and also we will copy the position that is the index where the smallest element is present to a variable to display its position. So let me take a of n uh, we will define this n as a macro so let me define the macro first as define n I'll give its macro expansion as 5 so let me ask the user to enter percentage d integer numbers so for loop I'll assign i to 0 because index starts from 0 so i less than n means n minus uh, 1 in this case 4 0 to 4 5 times so each time user is prompted to enter a value for 5 times now we shall assign initial value of small to the first element of this array now as usual let me write for loop uh, I'll initialize i to 0 and iterate through this for loop until i is less than n less than n means less than or equal to n minus 1 that's the same thing so we shall start comparing small if small is greater than any of the elements present inside this array so first iteration i will be 0 a of i but small itself is assigned a of i so let me start with the index 1 okay let me also copy the position here um, I'll give one first position let's give it first not zero okay here I'll if small the value present inside variable small is greater than a of i then I'll assign a of i to small and also the index value to this variable pos so after completion of iteration of this for loop the variable small will have smallest element present inside this array So let's compile this and run the program. I'll give 5 integer numbers 5, 6, 1, 3, 2. So the smallest element is 1, which is present at position 3. Let's check that 1, 2, and 3. Yeah, that's the right result. So if you have followed our uh, other program wherein we showed uh, calculating biggest element of the array you will already know the logic I'll show it once again to you let us write the code inside the first for loop itself where we take values from the user okay let's shift this whole logic onto the first for loop so since we have multiple lines of code now I'll introduce curly braces around the code so now the condition if this is the first iteration let us assign initialize the values of variables small and pos if it's first iteration so i is equal to zero so let me cut this and paste it here so small is equal to a of zero so zero what is zero zero is equal to i so instead of zero i could write i right that don't make any difference here so a of i now check this logic so inside if block we have small is equal to a of i pause is equal to i plus 1 so let's come back here so i is 0 right so 0 plus 1 is 1 again it won't make any difference so let me write it like this now look at this logic both these logics are same right so let us cut and paste this condition now and introduce or so either this 
or this condition must be true to execute the code inside this if block okay so either this is the first iteration let's remove this now it's no it's of no use now this is the logic now so let us first uh, compile and execute it to check if it's working properly i'll give 9 8 6 2 and 5 so the smallest element is 2 here at position 4 so count here 1 2 3 4 okay so that's showing right results so if you didn't understand it let me explain this whole code once again so i won't hurry up here i'll go through it very slowly so please follow follow along so instead of n here i'll directly write phi it will be easy to understand so let me even take all the elements of the array so i'll assign phi assume that user enters these values 5 2 6 4 and 3 okay now we have initialized i to 0 right check the for loop so let's take that so i is equal to 0 now to start with so now the first element is 5 a of 0 so user enters first value as 5 now look at the condition in this if i is equal to 0 yes the condition is true so execute the block of code here small and pause variables needs to be initialized so small is equal to a of i what is a of i it's 5 so assign that now pos is equal to i plus 1 i is equal to 0 i is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 so please follow along very slowly now increment the value of i by 1 so now a of 1 is so 1 is less than 5 true now a of 1 user enters 2 here so now i is not equal to 0 right it's not true so let's check this small is 5 which is greater than a of i which is 2 so i is greater than 2 again this 2 line of code gets executed so small is equal to a of i which is 2 now pos is equal to i plus 1 what is i 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 now increment the value of i by 1 now get the input by the user for a of 2 so 2 is less than 5 as yes, true now ask the user to input a value so user has already entered it 6 so i is not equal to 0 so small is greater than a of i small is 2 2 is not greater than 6 okay so the code inside if block doesn't get executed so i value is incremented by 1 so i is 3 now so user need to enter a value for a of 3 so let's check if it's work works 3 is less than 5 as yes, true so 4 is the value entered by the user now i is not equal to 0 right so let's check the second condition small is greater than a of i small is 2 a of i is 4 2 is not greater than 4 okay now exit this increment the value of i by 1 so i is equal to 4 now so user has to enter a of 4 now so check the condition in the for loop 4 is less than 5 yeah true now yeah 4 is 3 now check the condition in if here i is not equal to 0 small is greater than a of i small is 2 a of i is 3 again this is false now i value is incremented by 1 which is now i is 5 so i phi is less than 5 which is not true so the control exits this for loop so after this for loop we print the values of variable small and pause so the smallest element of this array is 2 at position 2 okay let us enter the same array elements to our program and check the result so 5 2 6 4 and 3 
smallest number is 2 1 2 at position 2 that's right that's what we got it okay we know that index starts from 0 but we have uh, for the user we are displaying index plus 1 okay so that's how we calculate smallest element of an array so please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic please stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog share this video with your friends on whatsapp telegram linkedin twitter facebook etc and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you